So you spent hours crafting your presentation and now you want to turn it into a video to use for a pre-recorded webinar, video conference, or just sharing online. This short video will show you how to do it using the Windows 10 version of PowerPoint on Office 365. We're going to assume that you have completed your presentation, you're happy with the slides, and you're about to deliver it as you would in an in-person event. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed for the time it takes you to record this presentation. Remember to silence all your devices and to make sure that your microphone is working well. So start with your PowerPoint presentation open. Go to this tab, it says recording. Over here, you will see a record slideshow option. And if you click the menu button, you will see two options to either record from the current slide or to record from the very beginning. We're gonna start with record from the very beginning. Press this. I tend to leave these two options ticked and hit start recording. You'll see up here a timer going. I tend to allow one or two seconds to elapse before I start speaking. Otherwise, there is a risk that the first part of your speech and voice will not be captured. You can edit out any prolonged pauses from the finished video later on. Now, on the first run through, I tend to just do the first two slides as a test to make sure that everything is working well, that the animations are working as intended. And I'm able to click through and that any inserted video is also playing. Once that's done, I hit escape to stop the recording. And then you can review what you've just recorded by going to slideshow and playing the slideshow. You're going to now see up here a timer going. I tend to allow one or two seconds to elapse before I start speaking. Otherwise, there is a risk that the first part of your speech and voice will not be captured. You can edit out any prolonged pauses from the finished video later on. So what you heard there was the recording of my voice speaking as I was recording the presentation. If you're not happy with any of the audio, you can choose to re-record any particular slide. So for example, the way you would do that was suppose I wanted to re-record slide two. I would go select slide two, go back to the recording button. And now instead of recording from the beginning, I would have clicked record from current slide. But before I do that, one other thing that I tend to do is I will insert a blank slide so that as I click through the slideshow and I advance from slide two onto the next slide, I don't inadvertently go into slide four and run the risk of overwriting any of the narrations or timings that I previously recorded there. So let's do this. Go to slide two, record from the current slide, and we will go. So here we are, testing through again and overwriting all the previous timings as well as narrations. Click through to the third slide, which is the blank slide. And then at this point, hit escape to stop the recording. We'll test it. Slideshow, check it from current slide. So here we are, testing through again and overwriting all the previous timings, as well as narrations.
Now at this point, we can delete this blank slide. And it should now segue neatly from the second slide into the third slide. The other thing you can do is you can also uh, clear the timing on the current slide, clear the narration on the current slide before you actually re-record it. However, even if you don't do that, when you record, you will overwrite whatever exists there, which goes back to why it's important to insert that blank slide before you re-record any other slide so that you don't inadvertently, as I've said before, write over this one. Now, if you actually want to uh, record and use, for example, the pointer during your slideshow, what you do is you press your control button on your keyboard and the left mouse button together and the pointer will appear. Release and it will disappear. Press the control button and the left mouse button again and that will reappear again. You can see what that looks like again by running the slideshow. For example, the pointer during your slideshow what you do is you press your control button on your keyboard and the left mouse button together and the pointer will appear. Release and it will disappear. Press the control button and the left mouse button again and that will reappear again. There you go. So once you finish the presentation and you're happy with the recording, you can then produce it. Go to the recording tab you can either choose to save it as a slideshow file, or in this case, as a video file. Click this button where it says export to video. You can choose the file size that you want. For most purposes, full HD is good enough. I've never used ultra HD. You will use the recorded timings and narrations, which will ensure that all of those appear in the final video file. Click Create Video. You'll be prompted for a location to save it to. And then hit Save. And this little progress bar will appear. At this point, go off and get yourself a well-deserved coffee and come back later to check on the final video presentation. So you're back from your coffee. If we look here, we see that that progress bar has disappeared signaling that the recording is complete and that the video has been produced. At this point, if you navigate to the folder where you save that file, which in this case was my desktop, locate the file, and then you can double click to open it and review that everything is in order. You'll see up here a timer going. I tend to allow one or two seconds to elapse before I start speaking, otherwise there is a risk Now that you have your video file recorded, you can do some final editing to clean it up, mainly to remove unwanted pauses by using the trim feature. And the easiest way to do this is to use the video editor app that's included in Windows 10. Go to your start button, type video editor, open it up, click on new video project, Give it a name. Add your video clip. Put it into the storyboard. And from here, you can do various things to it. Trim it, split it add text if you want and a quick internet search will lead you to some easy guides to tell you how to do this once that's done finish the video save it and you're good to go 
So that concludes this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. And good luck with your presentations and your videos.